It's along about lunchtime on Saturday, August 13th, 2011, and this is Amazon, Saskatchewan. And it's the end of the line, folks. CPR surveyed this route through here in 1910 and had steel on it by 1911. Looking south down Highway 2, or about 15k south of Otis. And there's the right of way, abandoned now, heading up to Simpson and Dilk. Regina Beach, and eventually the head of the Colonsi Sabla Crater. And welcome to Amazon. Not much of a population here. This was never a town, never a village, always a ward of Wood Creek RM, rattling poplar trees, and a few antiques. Homesteaders began arriving in this area in 1904, attracted by the Saskatchewan Valley Land Company, which held a huge tract of land here. Off to the east there is uh, Glacial Lake Bed. This is all ridged moraine in through here. There were Scandinavians from the United States, Ontarians, and British people. The Mears, the Kennedys, Badgers, Douglas, Perrys, Jorgens, some of the early names. This line used to run up through Renown and Plassey to Young, Saskatchewan. It was abandoned by the CPR in 1987. CN ran a stub line down from Watrous connect to it through Parish siding. Post office here from 1912 to 1962. It was named after the Royal Navy F-Class destroyer. Amazon. Saskatchewan Wheat Pool had a presence here, an elevator in 1924. It was doubled by 1957. Still on the 1984 map, but gone from the 1995 map. CP dropped off a portable station in 1911 and removed it in 1943. It would have been right around here somewhere at mile 73.2 of the Blonde Sub. Miss Annie Reed was the first teacher in the new school in 1913. In 2011 I found no evidence of a school, not even a, a marker anywhere, nor any sign of a church in Amazon, Saskatchewan.